Hi, I'm Carola and in my new series I'm talking about things that you can do in Paris and in this episode we're talking about burlesque. So please introduce yourself. I'm Babette de la Butte. I live in Montmartre, hence the name, and I am a burlesque performer and confidence coach based here in Paris. Babette de la Butte! And what are we going to do in this video? Today, uh, we're going to talk a bit about burlesque and how it can help us feel better on the inside and how that can also move through to helping us feel better yeah. on the outside and essentially building confidence and having a fun time while we do it. Yeah, I'll be the guinea pig, so uh, she's going to teach me something and I'll try to copy that. So this is about enjoying your body and you can enjoy any part of yourself. It's not all like, ooh, risque. It's enjoy a shoulder, enjoy going down the length of your arm. A burlesque started as an art form that was a method of kind of sticking it to the man. So whatever was going on politically, for example, artists would get together and uh, kind of make fun of that through this, this form. And uh, over time, that kind of changed. Um, America really changed the art form uh, into something that, as we know it today. So uh, the idea of American burlesque and the cheesecake pinup, that sort of thing, and girls taking off their clothes, that wasn't always the case, but now that's what generally we have in our minds is burlesque. When we start, you don't want to pull something. You know how it is when you, uh, as you age especially, just reaching, like turn on the light can mean, oh my God, we're not going to be doing anything cuckoo crazy today. And let me be clear, it's uh, not as if everyone has to find their way to their empowerment and feeling strong in the same way. Just because I like corsets and you know, red lipstick doesn't mean that that's the way to being feminine, that's the way to being strong. That's what appeals to me. You're not me. You are a lot taller. So that's the first way you can tell. I am in heels and she is in stocking feet and this is still the height difference. So, you know. This is why the big voice and the big personality and the burlesque, I have to have something or else, I mean, how else is anyone going to see me? So if you want to tease, again, for showing, and this is like, because it's, uh, there's a sheer quality. So you're showing and revealing and then hiding, but yet you can still see something. And that's exactly what we like to play with. You be someone who doesn't want to show anything. And so that moment where you decide to reveal. Yeah, I'm just reading my shoulder. Huh, you didn't expect that to happen, right? And you can decide whether you're like, yeah, yeah, they're, they're a good crowd. Let's keep going with that. Or you can decide, you got the shoulder, that's all there is to see. <laughs> So in my Be Bold with Babette classes, uh, one of the most important points that I hope people take away with them that we discuss is the importance of being able to receive a compliment. And I like to say, uh, saying thank you is a radical act. Basically, the act of saying thank you and that's it is huge for some of us. Uh, you've probably seen memes and things like that about uh, saying no is a complete sentence, which I really like, another powerful one. Sometimes for myself, I'll substitute thank you. Saying thank you is a complete sentence. If someone pays you a compliment, uh, sometimes our first instinct is to give them all the reasons why they're wrong. Oh, oh no, my God. no, it's an old dress. It's a, I don't know what I'm doing with my glasses. And so then it becomes a little one woman show about how they're wrong and here's all the things that are wrong with you. And it's exactly the opposite of what was intended. And you look great by the way. Oh, thank you. So I offer a variety of different classes and I'm really excited about the next one. It's an afternoon workshop on the 16th of November, it's a Saturday, and it's part of the Be Bold with Babette series. So I'll run these every so often throughout the year and it's a bunch of strong women getting together, learning how to be even stronger. And it's a really supportive environment. Uh, everyone 
really connects with each other and we're all coming from the same place. We might have a different stuff, but we're coming from the same place. And so we learn different exercises and different moves to help us feel more connected to our bodies and take that out in the world after. And I also run private classes. Sometimes people want to learn this with say a group of friends or solo or just with one friend, whatever, whatever you need, I, I, can, I can design it, it's no problem. And one of um, my favorites is burlesque for the bedroom. So if it's something, trying to think of an interesting gift to give to your partner, I can take you through burlesque moves and again, working with feeling comfortable in our bodies and expressing that. And then you can share that with your partner, however you like to, and it's, it's really fun. It's a different approach. It's very intimate. We're not looking at, obviously, burlesque in terms of on the stage and incorporating the audience. There will be an audience. It's an audience uh, of one. So as you can see, we had fun, and I hope it was just as enjoyable watching. <laughs> so thank you, Babette. Oh, my pleasure. Always my pleasure. You were wonderful. <laughs> Thanks, and see you in the next video. Bye.